Hey guys. Well, as you know, um, I'm not a big fan of LCDs. So um, this one and this one too, these two have got LCDs and the rest of them got CRTs in them. So since since I've got those um, PVM monitors um, in the last video, we're going to replace the LCD, get rid of that, and um, I'm going to have a look at the CRT computer monitor in here. So I'm just going to pull this out. I might as well put it in here. I'm going to pull this out and then um, I'm going to scratch my artwork. I'm going to pull this out and then um, we'll hook up the CRT monitor. And I actually want to see what it looks like on the monitor. So we'll do that. And then we'll rip the, uh, the LCD out. That's pretty easy. And then we'll make up a frame and set up the, the CRT in there properly. So it's just not the same with this LCD. It's, people don't really get um, the LCD thing. They think it's great and normal and it's better, but you'll see the difference. In this better, you'll see the difference. All right, we'll pull this out. I have to unhook it, hang on. Alright, I've got the back of it. We'll open up the back. It's been a while, it's been a few years since I opened this up. Hope there's no spiders in here. Oh, So as you can see, I've just got, excuse me, I'm actually going to take you off for a minute. Alright, so as you can see, there's the, um, that's inside the cabinet. So we're going to try and get, I'm going to try and, I'm going to above your screen there, I'm going to try and, um, We'll get this green out. I hope I've got enough room. Anyway, there's the hole for the cord. There is a few spider webs in there. Right, uh, we'll get this screen out and we'll see if we can fit a. Um... Actually, we'll hook up the monitor first and see what it looks like. So we'll do that. Okay, so I've got it hooked up to um, the monitor. I hope this is the right way. I don't want that falling off. So we're going to turn it on and we'll see how it goes. Turn the monitor on. Okay, let's see how we go. I'm going to set you up a little bit better than where you are. Oh, yeah, you can see the system initialization, so that's right. So we'll wait for that to load. Now the difference between the difference between a LCD and a CRT is, um, especially with these, uh, LCD won't have that white glow round behind it. It's like it's got a soul or something. It's a bit weird. I know you think I'm stupid, but an LCD doesn't show that. It just shows colour and that's it. There's no glow in behind because it's. The beam's actually hitting the phosphorus layer, and you'll see a slight glow of light around the writing or whatever, or around the, the icons or whatever. Whereas the LCD, you won't. So once this loads up, and we'll get a game that's got black in the background, we'll turn the lights off, and hopefully you'll be able to see, or we might be able to see it with the lights on. But anyway, that should be um, done by now. There we go, look at that. So all the colours look pretty good. So we're going to press... Um... 
Hang on, I'm going to take you off here. See what I mean? I think you can pick it up. I think you can actually pick up. Oh, my fingers over. Sorry. See how there's a white glow around the writing around here? You can just see the white glow. You can see very closely, and it's just much more defined in colour. The pixels are much better. You can see these tiny little pixels. LCD, you just don't have that. You just have one colour. So yeah, you can see the white glow around there. And that's what I really like. I really like that because that's what a CRT shows up. So anyway, we are, I'm going to go turn the lights off and um, you can have a look at the difference. And then we'll turn the, we'll put the LCD on and compare. Right here. I'm going to go turn the lights off. Gallagher will be a good one. I'll be back in a minute, turn the lights off. Ah. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. I know it's it's picky, but the thing is it looks amazing. I'm gonna take you off here. God look at that. So when you come up close, I'm not sure if you can see it. There is a difference. Uh, yeah, I can see it from my naked eye, so... God, the orange, the writing doesn't look orange on the camera, it's definitely red. It's so clear, it's so much better. Alright, we... I'll set you back up here, we'll have a look at Frog and see what that looks like. The colours are so much nicer. I'm going to have a go at... Um... Have a go at Donkey Kong Jr. Or Donkey Kong 3, you mean? Oh, look at the colours, it's amazing. So you can see the white glow, I don't know if you can see that. So on this one you've got to jump. you got to spray the crap out of him and he, he drops that and you've got to go down there, get that thing. Ah, I didn't get it in time. But when, if you get the big one you can knock him out. We'll have, a, we'll have a bit of a go. I'll, I don't mind this game. There we go. And then you can get him. So if you knock him out of the thing, it'll be really good. Well, it only lasts so long, doesn't it? Oh. There we go. I actually did that one without the thing. But anyway, have like and show you. But the god, oh, the colours look amazing. You see that glow of the um. And he throws a bloody ball at you or something, or coconuts. I don't know. Come on, don't annoy me, come on. Ah, 
couldn't do it. It's it's a, it's totally a lot of button mashing. Oh, one more guy. Nah, I'm not going to do it. Anyway, I'm going to turn the lights back on. It's very hard to concentrate and do a video, but anyway. Look at this. Um, I'm not even going to put my name in there. Or am I? All right. Uh, so, what do you think? I don't know. I reckon we'll get the LCD. Um, get the LCD on the go and um, we'll check out the LCD and look at that compared to it. Okay there's your, um, this is the LCD difference. If you can see, well, when you come around here you can see it's, it doesn't go all black, it goes a horrible colour. Then you go straight on. And you can't even, and you don't see that glow, that nice glow that it has. So I actually think, and the colours aren't as vibrant either, because they're just not lit up. But um, that's the LCD. So it's not as, and you, you've got to be looking in the right area if you if your head's around the around the other side. It looks a bit. Especially on a black. I'm just going to show Gallagher in a minute. So you come around here and it gets all light there. You can see it doesn't go all black and nice and. So we're going to change it. I don't like the LCD. It's just bloody shit. From here, from the normal person, I suppose. I'm a bit picky, but. Oh, I don't know. I, I like the LCD. I like this one better, so we're going to put this in there. Yeah, the LCD is not doing it for me. It's nice, but it could be better. It hasn't got that glow. When the spaceship goes down the bottom and that, you can see this trailing glow behind it. All right, let's get to... Um, this is part one, so we are going to um, start doing... The um, take the LCD out and put the CRT in. Okay. Okay, so we've got got all this unhooked. We're just going to unrattle this off. Unrattle the screen out. Something I've got to get in there. Sorry, you're in the way a little bit. Gonna somehow get my hand in the front. Because oh, I'm right handed, I have to go the other way. Well, I might be able to sneak around the sidey. Oh, God. Probably can't see much, sorry. Right, there's a screw. So we can get that bad boy out. Just had to break a seal. I obviously put it in when it was, the paint was wet. So there we go, there's the LCD out. Okay. Now I've got to make the other one fit in there. So it's going to be tricky, isn't it? So there you go. We're going to have to get this... Um, Get this bad boy in there so we'll have to pull this apart now because it's not going to fit i measured 400 and 400 and 410 
and from that face to there it's going to be real tight if I put it in with the frame so we're going to have to make a proper thing up alright this is going to be tricky this but anyway we'll get it guys so I've actually lowered this part here you can see I've um, lowered it there that far down um, just to get the right angle now don't judge me I'm not going to sit the monitor down and that's it we're actually going to pull the screen the tube out of this case and everything I just want to sit this here for now just got a screw there just to make sure it don't fall out so there's no way I can have it sitting like that I'm hoping the neck the neck boards not right up the back here I can't see through the holes there very well but um, I'm thinking the neck will be about there sorry and we'll be able to sneak it in just if not I can just put a little square box on the back so we're going to take the tube out of here and hope like hell it fits um, I just want to show you what it looks like in the front because this is how I sort of want it to look ignore the crap in the background you won't see it because it'll be a cover in the back because you just see black so as soon as you walk up to the cabinet you can see the credit you can see all the beautiful colours I'm not sure if you can actually zoom I'm going to show you what it actually looks like the LCD is nothing compared to this I'm going to zoom up you can literally see Oh, you just can't see it on the camera. On the camera, you can't see. You just see one colour like Donkey Kong. It's all one Donkey Kong. Let's see if we can see it on that. You can't see it. There's tiny little pixels in there. You can see every little spot. It's bloody amazing. But anyway... That's the front of it. Let's just let's pull this thing apart, and um, this uh, this is the end of part one. Part two. Let's hope like how we can actually fit this in, and um, we'll pull it apart and see if we can fit it in. All right. Stay tuned to part two.